Run. Hey guys, got a play carrier update video for you today. Uh, I'm still running the first beer beat up play carrier. Uh, the front and back plate bags are the same, uh, but I could made a couple more changes to it. Uh, same thing. I've still got the Blue Force Gear Quad MP7 pouch are working great for me. Uh, but some of the other things I've changed, the shoulder pads, I've switched to uh, pig shoulder pads here. Uh, I like them because they kind of stay within the shape of the original shoulder pads. Uh, they're also actually padded, and they stay in place really well, so I'm really happy with those. I've also went for the Ferro Concepts CEC cummerbund, the carry elastic cummerbund. Uh, this is the one that is segmented elastic that you can keep M4 mags in. And I do usually run an MP5, so I don't really need M4 mags, but it's nice to have buddy mags, and also I do have an M4 now that works and works nice. So I do plan to play with that some more. Uh, and so this is nice because I can run the same play carrier. I can just take these MP5 mags out and stuff all my M4 mags in the side here and be ready to go. So that's kind of the theory behind that. Uh, it's also just a badass piece of kit. Uh, and as you can see, I also doesn't just have to be M4 mags. I got my radio in here and my MP5 mag in here. Uh, MP5 mags are a little bit loose. Once this cummerbund is tight, and on your body, it's it's a little bit better, but still not great. Uh, I'm not that worried. I'll have my arm and my armpit up here, so it can't go too far. Uh, just I'm not worried generally about losing mags because I'm not doing anything too crazy, but uh, just something to be aware of. On the back, I have gone for the Pig 2-liter hydration pack. Uh, I really like this, and it's mainly because I run a tank, and I'll show you some of the features of it. First, I've got my tank in here. And you can't really see it, but it's got elastic on the sides here, and this elastic band goes all the way in here. And what that's meant to do is when you have water or a hydration bladder in here, uh, normally as you drink from the hydration bladder, it bulges out at the bottom and gets saggy. This elastic is meant to keep the hydration bladder full of water nice and tight. It also works great for holding tanks. Uh, one change I did make to my loadout or to my gear in general, is I switched to the Wolverine Storm Regulator. Uh, one of the reasons I went with this one is because, number one, it works great at low pressures. It's got a super fast refresh at low pressures, and I only run low pressures. Uh, the other thing is it works on SLP tanks or regular high-pressure paintball tanks. So if I ever want to upgrade in the future or get a new tank or something, and I... I don't have to buy the SLP regulator tanks, the Pro V2 SLPs. I can just go with any regular paintball tank. Uh, and that gives you a lot of flexibility, which is nice. Uh, the other thing I like about it is in packs, it sits really nice and flush. I mean, if you have the old, or not old, but the ARX20 regulator that Ant Airsoft uh, really advocates for, uh, it kind of, you know, you've got this big thing and you can flip this upside down uh, but it's still kind of awkward to the side and kind of uh, not easy to work with shape so that's why I really like this Wolverine Storm regulator uh, and it goes well with my Wolverine SMP uh, another little piece of kit is my cyclone holder this is made by a little group called LE Shredders uh, there are other companies out there making these. Uh, it's kind of similar to the GMR gear, and I think Chaos Concealment does something like this. Um, this is designed for the Dumbbell uh, Thunderbees and also the Cyclones. Uh, it's really it was designed for this Dumbbell like Dumbbell Thunderbees first, and kind of later they realized the Cyclone fits. There is some modification you need to do to make it fit really nicely you need to cut off the bottom half trim it up and slim like make it shorter basically and then it also helps to open this up make this wider hit it with a heat gun and then pull it together to make it tighter and what that does is at this length now it fits between the top and the bottom half it fits right between these two so whereas if you buy it stock it kind of like it'll sit up on top of this and it'll be kind of wobbly. Once you shorten this 
and then tighten it, heat it up and tighten it, then it fits, it fits perfectly. And what this now does is it sits right on the center body of the grenade, and it's, it's beautiful. I love it. Uh, and that is pretty much it. I'm going to try and get some gameplay going in the next few days. Uh, I am working a lot over the summer, so I don't always have time to play. And that kind of sucks, but it also lets me buy cool stuff like this. So, Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. I'll try and get some more videos up soon. Thanks.